myself because it's just what I usually do. I don't know how to control my anger. I'd say if only if there was a lifeguard who could help me try to control myself. Because you know lifeguards are good, right? Yeah, they save everyone, even when they drown. A dangerous son uh, looks at parents struggling, coping with children with severe mental illness, um, the services that they are provided and often not provided, um, the stigma that they face, and the way in which it um, affects the entire family. Um, and it's a, a, a cry for help and the honesty of these families letting us in um, to their hardest days was something that was incredible and we were honored to be part of and bring to HBO. I mean, one way or another, we're gonna pay for this crisis. Um, it's either going to be uh, preventative, where we, we actually work on helping our children when they're young and there's signs of mental illness, or we're going to find uh, violence erupting somewhere around puberty or whatever age it is, um, and we find ourselves in school shooting situations and things like that. So, uh, no, no, no one signed up for this, um, but again, we're, we're doing the best we can and we need the help and we need the resources and we need um, people and officials to understand and to actually les legislate um, help. I can tell you there's nothing harder than watching your 11-year-old child be handcuffed and pushed into the back of a police car because of what you know is just a behavioral symptom. I can't tell you how many parents have described to me having to call the police on their kids and have said to me, it was the hardest, saddest thing that I ever had to do in my life, to call the police to come in to discipline my own child whom I couldn't control, felt to me like the biggest failure I had ever known. Really, actually, after the shooting in Newtown, where Adam Lanza shot up a kindergarten and first grade, um, he was someone who was suffering from severe mental illness, and there were these series of articles that um, came out talking about his mother and mm -hmm. how she might have parented him. Oh, she did this with him and that was bad. And I'm not judging her or saying she was good or bad. I'm just saying it was really interesting that that was part of the discussion, um, the parenting issue, when we obviously had gun issues that we need to be talking about. And of course, mental services, like what was not happening for this young man that needed to happen. Instead, there was a lot of dialogue about his mother. Um, so it, it came from that, and it came from, you know, what, you know, somebody we know named Liza Long wrote a blog post saying, I am Adam Lanza's mother. I have a child who I'm afraid of. I have to call the cops on my son in order to keep him and me safe. Is this the way this is supposed to be? And these women identify with that.